Good morning, Vermont Lions. Happy New Year. This is Miss Contreras back again here to provide each and one of you and your families great um, information so that we can start off the new year knowing that we so far have made it and survived 2020 no matter what the circumstances were hopefully we are all here today online together ready for this new year boys and girls miss Contreras has a couple of messages to provide you today for mindful mondays boys and girls i will have some image attachments that i have been using lately from the virtual counseling world Bright Futures Counseling. There's been a lot of online support since last year and especially this school year for many counselors that would like to utilize their resources to help us counselors help each and one of you and our families and our teachers and all educators um, that we are here today trying to do our best again with the new year to provide you virtual distance learning Boys and girls, the images you're going to see today online, right below my video post, uh, I want you to think about a lot of things that you feel that you are thankful for from the past, which was last school year. Um, lessons that you might have learned personally, emotionally, educationally, whatever it was, thank it and thank also acknowledge that it took place and we're going to go forward and also tell ourselves to tell the future that yes we are ready to take on this new new 2021 um boys and girls i'm also here navigating through uh, my resources so you'll see me looking back and forth my screen and my video and I also want you to see here that this other uh, image that you'll see is called goals for the new year. There are three goals and maybe you may have three goals that you'd like to uh, work on for the new year and you may, you don't have to, you know, do all three of these it's so important to just try one by one number one would be a personal goal what goal do you have for yourself for this new year that you would like to work on and try out um, for example miss Kendrares, um over the winter break she went to barnes and noble and believe me, boys and girls, Barnes & Noble, when I was very young, was somewhere where I wouldn't want to go. I didn't like to read. But now that I'm older and wanting to do a lot of more self-care, um, especially during these trying times and understand what kindness means, how to be kind to ourselves first so we know how to be kind to others, what do I need to do to take care of me so that I can do better with my work, with my family, with my friends. Um, so a lot of things that I was able to start last year that I'm bringing into this new year and making sure that I keep doing this and practicing it and also remind myself to, to be kind to myself that even though I don't finish the book within the first two, three weeks that a few pages a day is worth a lot. So I just wanted to share really quick some books that I'm really excited to share with each and one of you. So I just finished the Kindness Coach book. I really like this book because it really did share on uh, how to be kind to ourselves, responding to ourselves with kindness, how to respond to others with kindness, how to respond to the world and definitely a lot of resources that they provided at the end of the book um, that help Miss Contreras have more of an insight on how to communicate my feelings to others uh, with respect and acknowledging others' feelings, myself, also many other things that 
I think many of us can do more for our world today because our world right now is going through a lot of changes and we still continue with this pandemic. So definitely a book um, that I recommend to our families and to yourself. So if you get a chance to go to Barnes & Noble, see if you guys can find this book and maybe read this together with family. Um, again, make sure you check in with your parents. <laughs> Another book that Miss Contreras was able to finish to read uh, is called The Self-Care Book. Um, this book actually um, gave Miss Contreras a lot of insights on how to eat healthy, also how to uh, do things like meditation, uh, other things such as um, how to uh, value nature, um, how to, t you know, reach out to others for support, um, also deep breathing techniques, um, and other things like, um, let's see here, how to do a to-do list, how to remain strong, how to organize our time in our day, and how to smile more and that laughter is a healthy thing to do. So also the self-care book is something that I also recommend to you and the family. And again, talk to your parents about checking out this book. Something that maybe uh, you guys would like to try out in reading. Um, another book that I'm currently working on. I'm almost done. I'm actually towards the end is How to Be Calm. Oh my goodness, this book is really good because it's actually uh, teaching me how to sleep well, feel well, um, how to have a sense of calm when I'm doing work, um, eating for a quiet life, also exercising ways um, for my calmness, relaxation, good things that Miss Conjures is... Um, learning how to find ways to keep calm and for example improving my workspace um, learning to say no uh, also accepting ourselves for who we are uh, there's a lot of quotes here never rush do everything quietly and calmly so good things that I wanted to share to all of you and another book that I did get at Barnes & Noble is How to Be Mindful. I have not started this book yet but I will start as soon as I'm done with How to Be Calm. Um, but this book here is telling me uh, pretty much simple ideas of, of how I could be mindful and allowing myself to live in the moment and embrace all that life has to offer. So something to look forward to. And boys and girls, I share with all of this information to you because as your school counselor, I think it's really important for me to also have more insight of self-care, mindfulness, kindness, so that I'm able to support you and your family and our school um, with uh, ideas and um quotes and things that maybe when you reach out to me I can go through the book with you and find things that maybe you have questions on and so that is a goal for my new year is number one personal goal number two is a school goal maybe you have a school goal for the new year and that could be anything from maybe building new friendships with students in your virtual classrooms that you've not had a chance to meet with or talk with. Maybe your new school goal is to do better and practice better on all this new distance learning that we're all trying to learn and grasp and figure out how to log on still and maybe figure out how to email Ms. Gondreras or how to, you know, follow some rules that we do have in place uh, that we could do better this school year as we're on distance learning. Um, and number three, maybe you have a new year goal for your home. Maybe you may want to start helping out with uh, some chores around the house. 
maybe be better at throwing out the trash maybe you want to make the bed maybe you want to help out in folding your clothes maybe you want to find a a quiet place in your home if possible so that you're free from distractions when you're trying to do work online um it could be also maybe walking your dog um or simply just letting your family know your loved ones know friends you know maybe we have family friends at home right now that we're living with because of the pandemic so much stuff has happened again boys and girls i do acknowledge that there's changes in the home uh, maybe that hug maybe letting uh your mom know you know thank you mom for making this dinner tonight whether it's rice beans maybe a salad um you know just letting them know hey thank you uh, and your brothers and sisters, like, give them a hug. Let them know, hey, I'm here for you. You know, if you guys need me to read a book to you, if you need me to help you um, get online and help with work. Again, boys and girls, I know that we all are doing everything we can to stay together, be united. Um, so please understand uh, that you're doing the best that you can. And we are here for you. We are going to do our best to continue with providing you support this school year. And again, a lot of information that I just provided today, but I just want you guys to have an insight of how uh, Ms. Contreras has been doing and sharing things um, that I've been doing so that you can see that I'm trying to, to have some new goals for myself. And that's reading more books. Um, school goal maybe for me would be just trying to keep learning more of the virtual uh, support that's available for all of us to get better at what we do and a home goal for me yeah it would probably be making sure that when i go to sleep at night that i turn off my cell phone uh, maybe have more practice on having my meditation yoga music on um, before i go to sleep so that i have uh, more insight to myself and get the calmness in me and knowing that it's time to go to bed and turn off all those electronics. <laughs> so boys and girls, again, Ms. Contreras is happy to be back. And I know that this video is pretty long. It's like, oh my goodness, like more than 12 minutes. But we haven't seen each other uh, for the last three weeks. And it's okay that Ms. Contreras um, is having a longer video for the beginning of the school year. We still have our Good Vibes Club. It'll be tomorrow. I'm still figuring out a couple of things that uh, we can do together to meet with one another. Um, and so boys and girls, again, happy new year. Um, whatever the circumstances may be, Ms. Contreras is here for you. You guys take care of each other, one another, love each other, give peace with each other and be good to each other and especially to yourselves. Please, please, please take care of you and ask for help and support and talk to someone when you are in need. Boys and girls, take care. Have a great rest of the week. I will see you all soon. Bye.